Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. In this video, we are going to see how to install GNS3 in Windows 10 and 11 laptop step by step process. After installation, how to open the GNS3, how to upload the iOS file, and how to open the footage session. All the details we are going to see in the detailed way. By the way, if you would like to know how to install Cisco Packet Tracer in the Windows 10 and 11 laptop, the video is already available in our channel. The link will be given in the description and the i -card. Let's get started. Step 1 We need to download the GNS3 from Google. For that, go to Google, type GNS3 download, click the first link, and the link will be given in the description as well. And GNS3 we can install in the three platforms one is Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now we are going to see in the Windows. So just click download. For that, we need to create the account or we need to log in. So create account means just it will ask the basic details. We need to fill the some basic details like first name, last name, email ID and this, uh, all the details. Then after that create account. Now we are already having the account so I am going for the logging option. After logging this download page it will become so just click download. The GNS3 will start downloading. Open the folder, just right click, click open. Click yes. Give next. Agree. Click next. Just keep it as it is, just click next. Next. So it is start extracting the file, it is start downloading, start installing. Just click I agree, click next installation. Give next, finish. Click next. Here we need need to give no. Click next. Start GNS3. Yes. To finish to open the GNS3, we need to click tick mark, then click finish. GNS3 will be open automatically. So once we open the GNS3, we will get this one. So this is the project which we are going to create. So project name, we can uh, give it anything. Okay. So just I'm going to give us a demo. Okay. And we can keep the folder location as it is. Okay. So the fo this is created. After that, go to help. Click for setup widget. Go to help setup for widget then click run the application on my local computer click next okay so it will ask for the default so everything we can keep as it is give next 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 then finish okay done now to open the folder go to options okay we already created as demo so just click demo okay in the demo project so we need router right so to for that click edit go to preference go to ios routers okay so this is empty click new we need to clear the file so just click new image and browse the file so this browse the file i'm already having the image 
okay so i'm just going to use in case if you like to get the image there is multiple source option is available even we can download from the cisco website for that we need subscription so now i'm going to click open the file okay so after open the file click next okay so um, we can give anything so this is the model number or we can give any a router or something so i'm just going to give like a router okay next and the default is 512 mb if you like to know what is the size it's needed for this specific model we can click this option we can get it then click next okay so here we can choose these slots based on that if you want to add any giga ethernet means just we can click this one and click next okay then finish okay done okay now if you go here the router will be available so we have given the router name so just router came just track it here so first we need to start the router before taking the console to start the router just click start okay so once we start the router the node will be green and if you want to add one more router just we can add here as router 2 okay see here it is red after right click start it will be mark as green and if you want to add any cable we can add the cable like first ethernet 0 to first ethernet 0 it is creating the port now if you want to take the console of the device jo just right click go to console and the router will be taken by the console in the solar winds by default okay now we are into the router we can see the show version okay so if you want to open one more router just we can go to right click again console so the router will be open in the next app like this okay in case if you are not comfortable with opening in the solar winds you want to open by secure CRT or putty so how to change the preference is very simple go to same edit preference okay go to general here we have consoles option okay in the consoles option there is console application command for the telnet so just click click so before that just download the putty okay so i'm just installed already putty in my laptop so just click putty normal standalone version okay click okay 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 now right click open previously it was open into the this one now it is opening in the putty okay because putty is very comfortable and we can uh, wants to change the color or we want to change the font size it is easy to change so how to change the fonts right click go to change settings then appearance then click here change okay so this is the default one so if you want to increase the size just click 18 click ok apply if you see here now it is 18 okay and if you want to change the color of this console means that is also go to same option change settings color okay so after that default this color this option just select the first one then click modify and which color you want to change i just want to change to green means just click ok apply see now green color is change okay so this is very easy to open two router into the two window see i will open one more window in the console see same thing okay so i hope you have liked this video if you have any doubt or if you have any tra um, difficulty to install the gns3 please feel free to write the comments in the comment box we are happy to help you and if you like this video please like and subscribe to our channel thank you